G'day viewers, welcome back to a new video. Thanks for tuning in. Today I've got some costume jewellery. It's just rubbish, you know, it's cheap shit. And I don't know if this is gold plating or if it's just paint of some sort. I have no idea. Um, it's actually rubbish, just fashion jewellery. Um, this one here looks a bit better. The whole thing is all one colour. And when you look at this shiny smooth section here, it looks like it could be gold plated. I've no idea. And the chain on this one is more decent compared to the other one. It's more of a, a nicer chain. I'm going to assume that these are gold plated. And I'm going to try and see if I can get some gold plating off it. So. In case you guys ever come across this sort of stuff and wonder how to process it, it might be rubbish, it might only be brass, it could be who knows what. That clasp for some people might be worth keeping in case you get broken jewellery, but I'm not going to bother. It's not gold, not real gold. So I'm going to just place this in a beaker. I probably should use a bigger beaker, I think I dropped something in here. Yeah, I might get a bigger beaker so it sits better on the surface, on the on the on the base. Um, I'll go get another beaker. That's better. It sits nicer on the on the base now. Uh, this beaker is a little bit dirty, but I've only used it for SMB, and it doesn't matter at this point in time. I'm not purifying it; I'm just trying to remove the silver. So now what I'm going to do I'm going to pour some distilled water. You know, just trying to take the lid off one handed. Just enough to cover it. Put the lid back on the bottle. Now I'll get the nitric. Okay, so I've taken the lid off with two hands. Give you be careful with this stuff, you can't muck around. And gloves on, etc. I'm just going to pour some nitric in there. Enough to do the job. There's no set amount. You don't have to do incremental additions because you're not trying to dissolve anything. You're just trying to strip it. This hot plate doesn't work anymore. So I'm going to put it over on the empty spot there. Put it on some heat. Get it hot. There's already a fizz, see? There's already a reaction started. And I hope I'm going to get some nice gold foils off this. But it could be just rubbish. Who knows? We'll find out. Well, I have no problems in showing my mistakes, as everyone makes them. Um, I, I turned my back for a second and this just went overflowed. So I'm going to have to get some gloves on, remove the plate. I need a bigger beaker, obviously, to handle the reaction. Pour all this back into it. And I have to have to hurry and do that fast now before the tin starts to be eaten. Okay, I got it in a tall form beaker. Put the heat back on. Straight away it started rising. See, it would have easily overflowed the other beaker at this point. It's getting close to overflowing this too. I'll take the lid off. It might stop it from getting so high. There's a lot of base metals there to react with, all the whatever it's made of. I'm gonna eat all that away first before I can see if I've got any gold flakes. Some stuff floating on the surface, but it's too hard to see what it is at this point. Could be a tin from this plate, could be anything. So I wait till the nitric has nothing else to consume. And there's no more reaction if I keep adding nitric. Let's see what I'm left with. At this point I've turned the heat off and it's still violently uh, reacting as you can see. It's almost at the top of that. What I'll do now, if it starts to get close, like at the rim, I'll squirt water into it and that makes it drop down. But uh, it's, it's holding steady at the moment, so it should be okay. My bad, I should have used a taller beaker to start with. Okay, I'm really glad that this has happened because I wanted to address this issue for some people I know who have had this problem. And basically that's rust, okay? The nitric acid has consumed steel 
Nitric acid is an oxidizer. And what happens when you oxidize steel? It rusts. Okay? It's not a problem. All you need to do is keep putting more nitric in. If you think about it, steel is just, uh, rust is decomposing steel. So it's still steel in, in, in a form. And once there's nothing else for the nitric acid to consume, then it starts consuming the rust. I guarantee this. I've had it time and time again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep putting nitric in there. I'm not going to do any funny business, no funny editing or anything. And you will see in time this will clear up. Uh, this is just to go to show people when they're doing pins, etc. They will get rust. And you just need to keep putting nitric acid in there. I guarantee you it will clear up. You'll see. Now I just poured a big amount of nitric acid in there, probably like 100 mils or so. And automatically you can see it's already going green. You can see there are things down the bottom that are being attacked. Every so often it comes to past the glass and you can see it. And of course it's going to make a lot of me now. But it is also consuming the rust. You can see the colour of it change already. already. Just wait till there's no more left of the necklaces to consume. And then it has to consume the rust. There's no choice in the matter because that's what it does. And, and rust is, is steel decomposed. You see, you can see down there. Bits of necklace that's been consumed, and uh, down there now you can see bits and pieces. And when there's nothing left, it should be a nice green solution. Look at that green solution. There's still a lot reacting down there, you can see. But look on top, gold foils. At least I think they're gold foils. We'll find out later. See, the rust goes away. No need to panic if you see it, just put more nitric in. Well, there's no more reaction. Even when I put new nitric in there, there's no more reaction, so everything's gone. All that seems to be left is these things floating on top. So I'm filtering it now. There's every chance that there's nothing worthwhile in here, absolutely nothing. But that's the whole idea of this experiment, to find out. So, once all this is filtered through, um, I'll put the filter in some AR and see if there's even the slightest hint of gold in solution. If there is, there won't be anything enough to drop. I'll have to put it with something else that I dissolve, but I'm just curious to see if there's anything worthwhile on this junk jewellery. The solution has all drained through. There's the funnel. I've been looking in there and I can't see any gold but you never know it could be all this fine stuff so I'm going to put this into some macroregia and do a test for gold and see but it's looking pretty dismal I'd say there's nothing in it which is surprising because it really looked to me like it was a nice shiny gold coating on those necklaces uh, I'll do this now, I'll get this into Aquarigia and see what happens. Okay, I haven't had this on heat, but it has been soaking for a good 3-4 hours. I've been out, I've just come home. It would have dissolved some gold by now if there was anything to dissolve. So now I'm going to do a test to see if there's any gold in solution. I'll put it in this one here. It's a nice orange colour, so that's a good sign. I don't like the chances of anything being in there, but so far it's all looking good. And we want this to go black or purple. No change. So it's rubbish. There's nothing in it. Well, it was worth a try. You know, it could have been something good there, but no, not this time. Well, that'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching, guys, and catch you on the next one real soon. I've got a couple making at the moment.